Alright, Leozy. Um, I'm playing a custom game. I know I'm playing against a computer. Uh, I'll explain to you the timings of when there could be pressure. But pretty much I'm just showing you the point it from our point of view. And I don't really feel like playing a ladder game because uh, they could do anything. They could do some really weird opener and that really would not help at all. Um, I'm pretty much just going to show you the, the opener I was talking about. Um, it's a, it, 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 This is standard. This is what... 99% of Zergs do against a Fortress expand. And this is the best way, I think, in my opinion, to take advantage of it, not including all in. Hopefully, we're right here, the perfect spot. Um, also, this is the same map, so that should help out a little bit in the understanding of the build. Um, if you ever get annoyed with cannon rushes, best way to avoid that is send your second Overlord right to your natural to scout for that. Oh, it's another thing. Overlord patterns. Um, you notice I sent my first Overlord right here. My second Overlord I sent right here. Basically, if you want to think of it easily, send your second Overlord to your second base, which is your natural. Send your third Overlord to your third, which is your third. I didn't wait to say that. And then your fourth Overlord also goes to his base. Alright, now... Like I said, you can do a 14 or a 15 pool. I choose 14 just in case he uh, pylon blocks my natural. I can get out a couple zerglings sooner. Get a um, 14. And this drone, the one, the, the drone that brings you up to 15, I rally right here. And don't make any more drones. Like, my hands are off the keyboard right now. Just don't do anything. Just. Everything just stops until I get 300 minerals, and my drone gets to right here. At this point, I don't need a drone scout because if I see a if, it, if he's forward fast expanding, his forge is going to be still building or not even done or not even started by the time my overlord gets to his base. Um, I drone back up to 15, and now I get my third overlord. Send it to my third. Also, to scout for cannons. And here I make two links. Um, for scouting purposes, for denying creep purpose. I mean, denying, not creep. Denying um, pylon blocks. And if you see the probe, just send the links on the probe. That annoys the fuck out of these people. Um, in this situation, I'll just send them to those longer tire. And, this, and you're, all you're doing is droning. You're droning until the six minute mark. Um, nothing but drones, hatcheries, queens. As soon as this queen finishes, I'm going to send, I'm going to inject and send it to my natural. This is around the time where you get 300 minerals. At the 4 minutes and 10 seconds, make your third. Inject, send a nat, so I'll start another queen. I don't know if I will start another queen just yet. Now we go. Start another queen. Build two more drones, then build an overlord. We shall put a couple drones down there. Hockey. Hockey the third here. A little, little bit late overlord, but not that big of a deal. At this point, you'd be scouting Corona Boost on gateways or Corona, or um, like 10,000 cannons to be super defensive, which is great for you. You should be like cheering if you see like 20 cannons you're like yay he's overly committing to that perfect for me notice i haven't even thrown out any gas geysers yet because if he does any pressure before his gateway fi gateway um or warp gate tech finishes i can hold with no speed length easy easy i will start my, my third queen and hopefully make overlords which is good and i forgot to do move this guy just to make sure there's some cannons over here just so you can be a little bit careful this base is done so I can move that queen. I mean, that overlord. Alright, six minutes. Two gas. Still nothing but drones. I'll move this guy here. It doesn't really matter. Just you, where your queens go. Just make sure you're injecting. Notice nothing but droning. I did grab the two gas. Put the guys in gas, of course. Reset your main. Inject. 
poopy faces. Look, I'm already I already have more supply than you did at forty at uh, at eight minutes. Seven minutes, grab two more gases at your natural and drop a road chain evo chamber. Keep droning. Um now you can get speed. If you see him chronoing warp gate tech, getting speed is nice. If you see him not chronoing warp gate tech and you see like double gas for instance, with this overlord you have move over here, if you see a gas here and then find a gas here, then layer first is not a bad idea. Alright, seven more seven minutes forty seconds. Start by uh, Blair. I was a little late on my Overlord timing. So as soon as, like, imagine that the Overlord that's about to finish, finishes, finish like, at the seven minutes and forty second mark. I did make an Overlord, right? I think I did. I did. All right. See, now you'd be up to seventy supply. Right now, this is. Eight minutes, forty-one seconds. Uh, to be honest, you should be hitting this at the eight-minute mark. I I didn't like miss it because it's hard to miss. I missed it because I haven't played the game in like three or four days. Um, it's so easy to hit just seventy of drones. Think about it, I have all drones. I have four lings scouting, which you know, put like two at two at his third. And then I have nothing but drones at my third, drones at my nat, drones at my main, and queens. And overlords. And now think about it. His his warp gate be finishing now. It would it would have like just finished, maybe like ten seconds ago. But like I said, he would have had this at seven minutes forty seconds. Um it's so easy to hold. You have three bases up, you're injecting at all of them, your speed's about to finish, you already start a lair, you have Roach Warn done, you have a Evo Chamber done, and now he's gonna start doing pressure. If you scout it, if you scout him chrono wing warp gate tech, just Build like a spine at your nat and a spine at your third. That'll help just hold off of maybe like a couple lings and a queen until your roach is finished and then you're done. You're super easy. At this point, you are so far ahead. I have so many more drones than you did at that point, and you're setting yourself up so far ahead. And you're absolutely not playing greedy or not um, playing unsafe. This is very safe build. Now let's let's assume. Uh, I'll make a bunch of roaches, I guess. Don't grab the gas down there yet. Alright. Now see, well, this, this is a really good example of what pressure is like. God, we don't play a game a lot. Your micro goes really bad. Alright, it should have started that speed earlier, doesn't matter. Um, I like to grab another gas here just in case I do. I'm getting festers. Just now. Now let's say I scout him going for a third, which this should be around the time he goes for a third. I would instantly, not with any hesitation, no matter what the hell is going on in the game, grab a fourth. Um, and grab all my gas and my natural. Um, also get a macro hatch. Just think about how, how much better the production is in this situation. You don't need units. You need drones. You need drones to get the units, not units to get the drones, if you think about it that way. Uh, you can get a second evil chamber. Um, it's better if you're doing timings, but I'll just get it anyway because I have a lot of money right now. I'm getting out some investors, so I'll put the guys in gas. Get investor thing. Um, now's a good time to throw in your spire when your fourth's about to finish. Well, sooner. Now, at this point, he he could be doing pressure. He could just be grabbing his third, turtling. Just pull these guys home, poke with them, do whatever the hell you want to do. Make overlords, of course. Make a bunch of drones here. Keep injecting. Now get melee and carapace. You don't want more than plus one ranged. Unless you're committing to a weird, a weird roach timing. Um, if you scouted anything else, you can build spores, spines. I'll just build some spores and spines for the hell of it. Not really no good reason. Grab 
ass instantly. Um, start a start a hive. Your hive should be starting around 12 minutes. There's no reason not to. Be done. We're gonna get a bunch of professors. Maybe some lings. Lings are good. Lings are always good, actually. To be honest, even in this matchup, you may not think so, but they are really good. Even with zealots, once you start getting good upgrades. And it's very simple. Once it's done, once the hatch is done, um, he could go for three base timing now. But I have so much production that it wouldn't be that very hard to hold. I have my spire done. I can hold uh, with corruptors. Basically, though, what he hit you with was at like the 16 or 17 minute mark. He couldn't have that right now. And also, I just had like eight infestors pop out, so it'd be a lot better held. Um, bunch of army here. I'm just moving out for the for the hell of it. Now we want to do as soon as this queen's done at your fourth, you want to drop a creep tumor right here. You can prematurely build a bunch of spines. <laughs> Almost like muscle memory in injected. Injecting is not a bad thing because that shows that you inject a lot. Hopefully. Get a bunch of zerglings out. Like here, I'd be doing pressure. Um, my infestors probably would still be at home, just to defend from drops or any form of a uh, weird harass that could be going on. Um, be pressure from the fourth. I'd probably see a huge ass army and pull back. Not wanted to fight with this army. However, this army would stay down here because I'm gonna sack it in a bit. I start building corruptors at this point. Uh, 16 if you have the money. You could build less, you can get away with a little less. Get get a Bailey attack. Um, don't build a second spire unless you're like doing really good economy wise. Um, I'd build at least five spine crawlers here. I guess it does a counter attack. A little bit of creep spread. Move these spine crawlers down. Okay, well that kind of screwed up the AI with those two down on the low ground. And the second, the push could be coming soon, but it wouldn't be coming for about another minute, 16.30. And greatest fire is done. Notice I have these brew lords finishing up. And I have this army down here. Let's say he's moving out now. I can move in, do pressure at his third for this army. Um, you can get carapace here. That's not a bad idea, I guess. Um, actually, probably cancel carapace and get air air carapace get brew lords finishing move all these on top of the spine crawlers with the infestor support can de definitely defend that attack absolutely no problem um, you'd probably lose this army actually you would definitely lose this army in a normal game so your supply would drop down like 30 or 40 supply in which case I'd put a morph a lot more brew lords and you have a huge brew lord infestor on me in this, in this situation with 4 base you have to grab a 5th um, how maybe in a sixth if he's really bad and you're just poning him? Oop, that's not that's not a six. I, ah, poop. I always, even with just two drones, I always grab the wrong one. Whatever, I'll make it a hex off. Who cares? Um, at this point, it's just freestyle. I mean, you're ahead. Just stay ahead. Do it. Do smart choices. Hell, if you're ahead, like I said, build a second spire and pump brew lord upgrades. Um, put pressure on his uh his fourth. Like I told you, the attack would have come uh, a little while ago, but I mean, with all these these spine crawlers, plus these brood lords and these corruptors and these infestors, like fungal's really good, but infested terrans are actually, to be honest, against Protoss, I actually even I would say a lot better. Like these things tank so much damage and do so much damage. Look, look at all that. Just spam like these shit of these on this on an army. If you see like an army like the hit you come, just do that. And Macely. You're gonna push around 18 minutes around now. Uh, the reason I didn't I didn't make these sooner is because these this army's not dying because um, there's no Protoss here. Well, actually, there's Protoss. Of course, he's very easy, so that would probably kill him. So never mind. Um, <laughs> just kill him with these three roaches. See how long he lasts. And you just like aim move practically. I mean, now when he has a mothership, of course, um, you need to like let's say you're like attacking in with your infested brood or corruptor army. Let's say he was uh right here. Well, first of all, you probably have Burrow. Oops, forgot about Burrow. 
Um, you'd like split your brew lord army and then like attack move in. Like try to keep these things split rather than just like bunching them up like this because then you can just vortex and of course just win the game. Um, but yeah. I'll pretty much show you what I meant. Um, I spam a lot. Uh, if, if I have high, PM, high IPM, it's because I spam. Um, I notice you have 115, so don't like. If it did anything did look hard, you can easily do it mechanically. <sighs> look at immortal. Um, basically, like it shows you um, how far ahead you should have been at that point, where you should have been. <laughs> Hex off. Um, in, in that situation in the game. You shouldn't have been like on three bays just finishing your fourth and your fourth dies. You have like Roach Ling. You should have been on Brood Lords. Brood Infestor at your fourth. Um, but the only reason you weren't was because you like crippled your economy. I know I've told you this like a million times already, so there's really no point. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Alright, well, I think I get the gist of it, so. Yep. After this guy dies. Oh, that, that mortal, that mortal's got this. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, well, this is boring. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Alright, man, I hope I helped out a bit. Maybe if you wanted any help, I can uh, help you one on one in a, in a game. Um, I'm really wouldn't mind helping you at all. I know the, the problem when you give me replay, there can be so much stuff wrong, but there's so much stuff important. It's so important that I have to tell you, like, I feel bad not telling you something. So, I kind of tell you everything. <laughs> if you ever want to focus on one thing at a time, um, for instance, I would recommend strategy first, mechanics second. Um, for instance, I showed you with, with the really good mechanics, you would have been so behind in that game anyway. Feel free to just hit me up. Um, yeah, I don't mind helping you at all. Um, Alright, peace.